Today we'll look at how easy it is to create a dashboard from your Google Analytics data. So this will involve um, connecting to your Google account, pulling information um, from Google Analytics and creating a dashboard out of that. So let's get going. And the first thing you'll do is um, launch the dashboard creation wizard and they should look fairly familiar. And once that comes up, um, let's go ahead and add data to your dashboard. And in this case, it's the Google Analytics data. And here you'll notice that um, um, you're prompted for what's called the OAuth parameters. And this essentially um, allows MicroStrategy to connect on your behalf um, to Google and, Google and fetch the information. And if this seems unfamiliar, uh, just ask your system administrator for the client ID and secret um, to the Google Analytics information, and they should be able to set you up. And once you are able to enter that information, uh, let's go ahead and click on the Google Analytics link. And what this attempts to do is use that authentication information to pull data into MicroStrategy to create a cube. And you'll notice um, there are several predefined reports that MicroStrategy makes available. And these are, you can think of them as um, templates of reports for pulling specific pieces of information from, from Google Analytics. And um, at the same time, you can also define the date range for which you are looking to fetch information. And this. Let's go ahead and choose the last 12 months. And uh, for the data, let's choose the um, countrywide information. And go ahead and finish. And what happens now is MicroStrategy is going, connecting to uh, Google, pulling down the information. And, and in a, there you go. Uh, and it pulls down the information, creates a cube out of that. Um, while this is great, I actually want to be able to create a map uh, with precise location information. And uh, what would be nice to have is the longitude and latitude information as well. And you can see that's not currently available in this data set. So let's go ahead and change that. And um, you can, you'll notice that there is the wrangle option um, on the on the data set. This is useful in many different ways. One, to either change the type of information that you're bring, bringing back or um, to apply certain transformations to your data. And we'll see both of those uh, right now. And um, you come back to the familiar query interface. And in this case, I want to just go ahead and edit the query that we had used earlier. And you'll see um, we're bringing back several pieces of information and I want to add the latitude and longitude to the data that we're bringing back. Um, and Google documents um, the types of dimensions and measures that are available. Um, so we've added the longitude, latitude and the source information to be brought back. And you'll, sh you'll see now that the sample data contains the longitude and latitude information and the source information. And you'll see the source has a lot of um, uh, websites that are referring traffic to, to this particular site. Um, you might want to um, normalize the names and kind of have a more standardized naming convention. So you can actually do that in place. Uh, just go ahead and edit each of the entries that you don't like and want to rename to something else. And you can just apply to all the data. Let's do that for Google as well with the proper case. And maybe one more. And there you go. So once you apply this transformation, um, every time you update the information from Google, um, this transformation will also get applied. And once we close out of this window, the cube information is fetched and all the transformations that we had chosen to apply will get applied. And shortly we should have the 
data set populated with the uh, latitude, longitude, and the source. Now let's go ahead and choose the Google Map visualization and uh, place the appropriate latitude and longitude um, selectors and you can choose to color by the number of visits you can also um, change the shape of the marker if you wish um, you can apply a view filter and in this case I'll choose to just apply um, a filter on the date for just the month of August and there you have it so you were able to go from pulling data from Google apply certain transformations put it in a dashboard apply a filter all within a matter of minutes